and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today I'm going to go over what you should be doing with your coins right before the Zero Chill promo comes out. I did tell you guys you want to get your coin stack up above a million coins. That is exactly what I just did. Now guys, you may ask how I got all those coins. Did I buy them? Did I, did I steal them? I'll let you guys know in a second after we get past our intro and everything. But guys, the Zero Chill promo should release tomorrow. But this is EA, right? They love to surprise us. They're like, they're always playing tricks. One second you think you're playing Series 4, the next second you're on Call of Duty because the servers don't freaking work. Or, one second you're back on Madden and then you realize they go down again. Or even better, you finish the whole gauntlet and don't get a single star for it. It was a really fun time playing the gauntlet three different times. It was fun. It was it was great. Not gonna lie. I did enjoy playing the crossbar challenge 25 times and waiting for my stars. I did think that EA would make it right by giving me my stars afterwards. So I played the entire gauntlet and then didn't get my stars. And then it was, it was a fun time. It was even better when I did like the crossbar challenge 50 yards out in the freaking hurricane tundra weather and I hit it first try off the crossbar and I was freaking out and I got no stars for it. But anyways, guys, as long as it comes out tomorrow, we are on track for today to be the last day before Zero Trail. They will be doing a special stream tonight going over Zero Trail. More than likely, they will drop the promo tomorrow and they will accidentally give everyone 99 patches from home. They'll have to shut the servers down and do make rights. But despite all that, today should be the last day before Zero Trail, guys. So before we get into the video, make sure to down below. It is the 25 days of food miss. Enter the, to enter the giveaway, as you guys should already know the rules. You should already, the video should be liked already. Like the video, comment down below your console and the secret word you hear throughout this video, and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Hopefully, you guys are ready to subscribe though. For great content on Christmas long, you know exactly where it's come. Now, guys, I told you to build the coin stack up going into the Zero Trip promo. Luckily, it was delayed a little bit because I was behind on the coin stack. Now, how did I go from about 300K to 1.1 million coins? Without selling my cards simple it's very simple the level up grind the level up grind i might have sold the card but the level up grind some free packs i'm telling you guys that level up grind is you the level up grind every month is like ah a million coins in my pocket i'm telling you and it's not that it gives me a million coins it's just somehow i always end up in a million coins i don't know the exact math of it but i recommend if you guys want coins for series four i mean uh, for zero show go finish your series four level up grind it is series four right yeah series four Guys, I promise you, if you buy the three platinum packs, you get three quick sells. There was three, right? There might have been two. No, there was two. If you buy two, you do get two quick sells, which I already took already. So you get two quick sells. That's 110k each. That's 220k. You get two 40k coin quick sells. That's 80k. Let's, let's round it up. We got a 300k now total. You get two game changer packs. So I actually pulled some heat out of one of them. I pulled a series redux out of one of them. So. I was already at like 400, 500K in two quick sells, two coin quick sells, and two game changer packs. Not to mention the power pass. You take your power pass. If I go use my power pass right now, one of my players that I don't, I don't want to like Barry Sanders, I get back another 500K. I, my coin stack always skyrockets shortly after a series update, after the level grind. Plus the gauntlet solo, I got coins for the gauntlet solos. I got packs. I got 78 plus player packs. I got coin quick sells. It was a great time. I'm telling you guys, the best method to get coins sometimes. Just playing the game. Go level up. Now, guys, what do you want to be doing with your coins last minute? First things first, I think you want to build your coins still. I don't even think this is enough. I need more coins. Because if they if they introduce a present reroll, I'm buying every present in Madden that there ever has been ever. And I'm going to pull 30 Ed Reeds again like I did last year. That is the goal, at least. So I definitely need more coins. Now, guys, something I, I, I briefly mentioned in one of my videos today is the old toy method. I'm telling you guys, the Christmas promo is, is, is something, it's a, it's a different animal. One second, you love your you you love your your legend cards, your base legends. You love your NFL 100 cards, and they drop zero chill cards in their old toys. I'm not I'm not even joking. I've experienced this in the past. Like after hard, oh, I got my Night Train Lane, I got my Michael Irvin. My team's looking solid. Zero chill drops. I see one card. I'm like, take my wallet. It's over. So I'm not even joking. Zero chill always drops some kind of fire, and I'm like, okay. I remember last year during zero chill, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna spend too many coins this zero chill. I'm gonna relax. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna have fun. But I'm not gonna spend too many coins. They drop a fire fantasy pack. I'm like, okay, I might need to actually buy that with money. Then they drop, then they drop Randy Moss. I'm like, yeah, I need that too. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm not gonna buy anything else. Then they drop Barry Sanders. I'm like, I'm gonna need that too. So I'm telling you guys, that is what's going to happen. Zero Chill, if they do not mess it up this year, which they feel like they've been trying to, 
Zero Chill should drop some heat, should drop some very valuable cards out of position, beast, Walter Payton QB, and you're gonna wanna have it all. So what's gonna happen is everyone else can be like, okay, I can sell my Clinton Portis, I can sell my Gene Upshaw, I can sell everything. They're gonna start selling all their old stuff. So guys, there's two ways to go, there's two ways to look at this. You could be what I like to what I what I used to be in Madden. I used to call my I was the thrift shop. I was a thrift shop Madden guy. I was the guy who okay, you guys all want to play Zero Chill? Cool, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go to the last promo. I'm gonna buy all those cards for cheap. So when Zero Chill drops, you guys are all gonna be buying your Randy Mosses and your Nitro and be like, okay, I'll buy Michael Irvin for 270. I'll buy Nitro for 270. I'll be hype. So that is that is one thing you can do. If you guys really want, you could save your coins now. Wait till Zero Chill comes. You could buy all the older cards. Still powered up and counted up on the right team that will perform similar. But you know you're not buying hype. It's like a difference between buying like, you know, like some really high, like like a Louis Vuitton versus maybe just a regular brand. Maybe they they perform the same, they feel the same, but one just has hype, and that is exactly why you're gonna like that one better. So I'm saying Michael Irvin's gonna be just like the NFL 100 receivers, slightly worse, but the names are gonna kill him. And you should go for today's video is Christmas tree. Christmas or tree will suffice. You don't have to type both words. It's kind of a big word, I thought, as I just said it. So just type tree or Christmas. Either word doesn't really matter. All you gotta do is comment down below, comment your console, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Once you're done with all that, you aren't just to win. Good luck. Go down in value. I'm just saying, what I would do with my coins now, I think you gotta build up your stack right now. No matter what, you're building the stack. You gotta be building the stack right now, no matter how you look at it. But there's three things you could do with it. You could play Thrift Shop Madden, like I just said, which also includes these right here. These legends right now, these base legends, are coming down quite a bit. Now, they have been cheaper. They're up a little bit right now, but I'm telling you, once all this stuff drops, these cards should come down a lot in value. So that's when you can pick up like Ed Too Tall, Gene Upshaw, Keith Bullock, Ty Law, Dallas Clark. You pick up all these guys for probably a little over 100K when everything starts dropping. You can pick up base legends like Marcus Allen for like 60K right now. A lot of great things you can be picking up. The Thrift Shop method. Now, the next method is, you save a ton of coins. I recommend always over a million for this promo. And you wait for zero chill stuff to drop, but do not buy it day one. I cannot stress that enough. Never buy cards day one. Now, depending on the, the actual content of what comes out, it might be okay, but it's not always okay. Like if they drop a 96 Patrick Mahomes day one, he's going to be coming, he's going to be, or like a 95, he's going to be going for like, like 600, 700K for quite a while. Probably like 800K, maybe closer to a million. Now, if you wait till packs come out and maybe they drop another quarterback like Steve Young, then it'll be like, okay, Mahomes is like 500K. I'm telling you, never buy day one. People learn that lesson with plenty of players, like Lawrence Taylor going for 700K. Those hype players like Lawrence was going for 700K. A week later, I bought him for 350, base legend. I'm telling you, do not make that mistake. Don't, just don't make it. Now, that's method two. You want to just buy players? Go ahead. Now, the third method, which is one I tend to, I tend to, uh, lay down and that's the one I, I lie and that's my method right there is going to be build up my coin stack and try to flip it for as many coins as i can while buying my team so i pretty much combine i combine a method i come method three is method no my method is like method four it's one two and three combined so method three is flipping all my coins by buying low selling high on the currency and playing the blitz method two is buying the players you want for a cheap price and method, and method one was thrift shopping older cards i do all three methods and that's my that's my christmas method personally so my, my first plan of attack going into tomorrow when things drop but I'm, I'm gonna see the lay of the land i'm not gonna buy anything i'm just gonna watch i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna watch in the dark and i'm gonna play some solo build my coin stack up i'm gonna see i'm gonna see maybe some some initially dropped 90 overall cards going down to like 80k because they're, they're maybe like the eight they drop an 80 over zero chill card he's at like 40 40k 35k because people are buying uh, selling them so quickly maybe i'll pick a few of them up he in a week comes back up to 50k and then they drop pat mahomes let's say i don't think they will tomorrow but i'm saying let's say they do and he is 800k i wait a week he's 500k i just like to watch once i see the market settle that's when i go in now let's say they they announce snowflakes like we get the new currency snowflakes tomorrow so or snowmen or snow angels snowballs whatever i feel like snowballs is a really good chance by the way but let's say they drop snowballs tomorrow first thing i'm doing is i'm seeing how it affects the market i'm gonna go over how do snowballs affect it what's the value of snowballs then i'm waiting for any snowball offers to see what the, what the value of snowballs is now if the snowballs value is well above what it should be you don't buy if it's well above well below what it should be you buy if it's, if it's cheap enough you want to be buying because if there is a when there should be a blitz the snowball market should skyrocket but guys, that pretty much is what I'm trying. What I'm trying to get across to you. I don't want to go too in depth because I'm probably gonna start confusing you guys. But for the most part, I'm going out there tomorrow. I'm gonna continue building my coin stack. I'm gonna let the market settle first. I never buy on the hype because I think it's gonna be going like this all day. You just wait. Just wait till things settle. Once things settle out, then you wait. 
Now, I'll, I'll probably wait in closer to a blitz. When a blitz starts coming, that's when I'll start preparing for my flipping and my buying and my selling, if there's a blitz. Then, towards like, so I'll probably start picking up cards towards like the second week of the promo. The only way I'll buy a card, guys, is if I'm being stupid and they drop some like crazy card that I can't, I can't not get. Like, I don't even, I can't even think of a card like that right now. But like a Saquon Barkley with like a 95 speed, then I'm a big fan. I, just, I can't help myself. That's like the only way I become that dumb tomorrow. But other than that, I think that wraps up what I'd be doing with my coins tomorrow. Like I said, method one, thrift shop. Method two, wait out the lay of the land, buy when cheap. And method three, use those coins to purely invest. I like to use Christmas at the time. It's like a factory. You put a million coins in, you get your dividends at the end of the month, you end up with like four million coins, and then you're set for the year. January, the Super Bowl, you have so many coins. That's what I did last year. And I had a 99 team all the way to the end because I just had so many coins. I had so many coins from the Christmas promo. That is my best recommendation I have for you guys. Hope that does help you guys. Like I said, I don't think this is the end all video. Watch this, get an idea. I like to give you, I like to set up the foundation and then when the Christmas starts actually coming out and everything starts coming out, I will have videos for you guys daily going over all this stuff in depth, one by one by one. That's been it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. By the way, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Comment down below the secret word, your console. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.